No, you get both of these for less than $20. That means less than $10 each. Marie Louise Keir is here with us and these are from Gooseberry Patch. If you've never had the Gooseberry Patch cookbooks, you need to today. One is all about slow cooking. The other one is all about desserts. And I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna look at this table and everything on this table came out of these cookbooks and you're gonna go, oh my goodness, I have to have these. Yeah, and it's the best of the best. So if you imagine you get all your girlfriends together and you say, give me all your recipes that are coveted, that everybody wants, that are tried and true, and that are always winners. That's exactly what's in these books. And you can read these cute little quotes down here. I love it. And by yep. the way, that's the thing. There's a picture for every single recipe. We Not love only that. that, but these are people who have made it and have given you like their little tidbits about it too. Mm -hmm. Maybe they want to add a little something extra or whatever it is, but these are amazing. So first of all, let's start with uh, the slow, or should we start desserts You know what? Cooker? You love these, and I want to start up here because wanna... these are, may I Thank say, fantabulous. Look at this. Three layers of brownie. So you've got that traditional moist cake brownie on the bottom. In the middle, you've got a cream cheese layer. And on the top is a confection that is crunchy like that candy bar with mm. the little rice crispy pieces in there. Together, so good. Okay, come watch. <laughs> I know it might be messy. I apologize ahead of time. But look at this. This could be a dessert tray. I'd pay $10 mm -hmm. just for this there tray you go. right you here would. at a restaurant. You and you're going to get the whole cookbook. But I have wanted to bite into one of these. It's like fudge and brownie and cheesecake all together. Oh, are those good? <laughs> and you can cut them into little pieces so you can get a lot out oh, of them. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> that is incredible. You want those. The book is worth it just for that. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. And that came from our friend Alicia in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the book has a name oh, who wow. sent in all the recipes. And next that's to that, so you had the snickerdoodle oh, cupcakes, which are right over here. So okay. imagine taking that delicious snickerdoodle cookie, which we all love, especially around the holidays, and yeah. turning it into a cupcake that's iced with that traditional snickerdoodle mm. sugary cinnamon icing. Mm. Yeah. That is yeah, also good. very good. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, Look at this. how about a taffy apple cupcake? How and am I supposed to eat this? <laughs> that bite in. is going to be a traditional carrot cake with pull. a little bit of Granny Smith apple. And then we've drizzled caramel mm -hmm. and nuts over the top and put a little stick mm -hmm. in it to it. Very clever. That is so good. Isn't it good? You don't, nice you don't even have to put the stick in it, but you can if you want. That is so good. Oh my gosh. That is amazing, and that's not even all the desserts. That's just three of them. No. Mm. What's this right here? This is going to be a whoopee cupcake. Mm. So some smart person, who is that? That was Janie from Virginia thought, how could we make a whoopie pie tasty but so much easier? She mm -hmm. made it in a cupcake. So the inside has that traditional whoopie pie frosting and then a little topper oh on the inside gosh. of it. You've got whoopie that pie cupcakes. That delicious. Yes. Okay, so that's just one of the books, and you're going to get two books for $6.65 a month. And let's go to the slow cooker. I don't know about you, but I love to cook with a slow cooker mm -hmm. because I can put it in in the morning, turn it on, go to work, go wherever, come back, dinner is done, the house smells great, and it's super easy. Or maybe you all of a sudden at noon go, oh, I, I wanted to do the slow cooker. Don't worry, there's all kinds of t different times you can do. Tell me what this is. This is a Swiss steak Colorado style, and they like to make their Swiss steak, which is simmered, simmered for hours with all different kinds of meats and oh, vegetables. Wow. And they like to pop it over and make a meal on top of baked potatoes. Huh. I find what's really great about this book with a slow cooker is it breaks it down in increments of time. Mm. So you can look at your schedule for the day and say, do I have between one and six hours? These oh recipes would be great. Gosh. I've got a full six to eight hours, super. Or it's a Sunday and I want to put everything in the freezer, make mm -hmm. ahead freezer meals as well. That yeah. has a flavor to it mm -hmm. that is killer. <laughs> I don't know what's in there, but it's good. All mm. kinds of vegetables and things. And stew mm -hmm. is really my go-to meal. Me so too. how great that somebody's figured out exactly what to do in the slow cooker. Yeah. Foolproof, you know and it's going to be delicious. Never thought of putting stew on a baked potato, but I love that. Now here's something that I had mentioned earlier. I've never done meatloaf in a slow cooker. Yeah, and this is one of them that you can make ahead. A couple different kinds of meat in here, just the right proportion of spices mm -hmm. and the, the flavorings and everything that you need. Mm -hmm. Do it ahead, pop it in, and have it done in a slow cooker. 
Wow. Down here in the front yeah, show me has that. to be one of my favorite recipes. It's a pulled pork and it's made with four ingredients, one of them being root beer. Oh, so wow. if you're looking for something really simple that's going to be fall apart, go on a bun, maybe do some tater tots in the oven, and you've oh. got a meal. Hey, by the way, just to let you know, more than 2,000 sets of the cookbooks have already been ordered, and we didn't bring a whole lot of these in. So I would just say go for it. You've got 30 days to love it or return it, and you've got a slow cooker cookbook with 101 recipes and a dessert cookbook with 101 recipes, a picture for everything. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and it's less than $20. That's 202 recipes for less than $20. I got to try this pulled pork. Oh my goodness. Very tender and juicy. It is. Mm -hmm. And that root beer, you can just barely taste a little bit of the root beer in there. And it makes a great mm. leftover. Great for sandwiches. It's so, so good. I love that every single recipe has a full color picture. I yeah. want to see what it's going to look like when it's done. Mm -hmm. And down here is a little tidbit. Every one of the authors has a little tidbit where they share, why was this popular? How, how does everybody love the recipe? Maybe they give you a, a little something that you want to do extra with the recipe, a little mm -hmm. tip or trick. Look to at go those with little it. snowballs, chocolate orange snowballs. I have the uh, slow cooker one. How about roast turkey and cranberry dressing? I mean, don't you wish you had had that just a few mm. days ago? Um, here's another one, smoky hobo dinner. Wow, interesting. Mm -hmm. Some really good ones. Let me move it up a little bit higher here. Brunswick stew. I'm just flipping through pages. Chicken taco soup. Ooh, how about slow cooker um, barbacoa beef? Uh, there's more stewed black-eyed peas, Greek chicken pitas. I mean, these are all great things in here. Smashed red skin potatoes. Mm. Uh, here's fantastic 40 clove chicken, et cetera, et cetera. Tex-Mex taco joes. I don't know about you, but I feel like I make the same old thing in my slow cooker all the time. Yeah. I'm tired of it. The kids are tired of it, you know, and I feel like I just need some new ideas, something new and special. What do you got there? I have the, uh, the cranberry kielbasa bite. Ooh. made in a slow cooker. These have a little bit of different kinds of jam in them and get slow cooked, but the way the flavors meld together in a slow oh, cooker, everybody mm -hmm. comes to your house and takes a toothpick mm -hmm. and goes in for them and says, give me the recipe. I have mm -hmm. to have the recipe. And you're almost ashamed to give it to them because it's so easy. I know. <laughs> this is so good. It's really, really good. 3,000 now gone. And let's go back to show the books and exactly what's in them. Yep. Yep, mm. yep, you got that the one right so, here. So, so good. I'm going to keep this, or show you this one. 202 Go recipes ahead. all together. So mm -hmm. you've got your cu your cupcake cookies and brownie recipes all in here. Mm -hmm. And then you've got all of your slow cooker recipes in that one. And tell me a little uh, again about Gooseberry Patch. What's that all about? There's just two friends from Ohio, Vicki and Joanne, backyard fence friends who loved to cook and loved the country and they managed to follow their dream and they've done over 200 cookbooks now but they also do a whole beautiful gooseberry patch catalog yeah. where they sell beautiful country items and it's mm -hmm. just it's just beloved i tell you this there's that root beer pulled pork sandwiches right there i mean that you know i guarantee you your guys are going to love that there's lots of football yet to come okay but if there was ever one reason to be able to buy these books it goes back to this plate. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I don't want to miss these down oh, here in front. That's right, and the lemon bars too. Because these are the ice cream nut roll crescents, and the secret to oh. those is very simple to make. You use ice cream, wow. vanilla ice cream, which makes them really rich and delicious. Oh my and then goodness. down over here, we've got some peanut butter cookies that are double dipped in chocolate right here. I mean, they've really, if you want a gourmet, you can gourmet, but for the most part, these are just so simple to do. Okay, I know you wish you were <laughs> here at the moment. I'm going to do this for you. You're going to do this again. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good to be Mary Beth right now. <laughs> Don't bother me. Talk amongst yourselves. Is this a version <laughs> of the happy dance? <laughs> yeah. I don't dance, so I'm going to leave it at that. But um, <laughs> that is killer. Triple layer brownies. Mm -hmm. These are going quickly. I just, you know what? It's it, it's spiral bound. It lays open. Love that. It lays flat. I mean, it's just a great way to get some new ideas. This is what I call down home good cooking. Perfect. And it's nothing weird. Perfect. Nothing strange. You're like, what's that? It's all the it's real thing. Get us through it's the winter, really like. which mm -hmm. I know is coming. I know it. I'm someday. feeling it. Maybe. <laughs> I love it. Tuscan <laughs> beef stew. That looks mm. so good too. 
I'm telling you what, Marie Louise, you brought some great products Thank today. You. It's Thank been great you, to be my here. dear. My Good pleasure. To see you. In the Happy meantime, holidays. time we're going to check in with Mary and Hi. find out what else is coming up. Well, one thing that we love to do on In the Kitchen with